In this video, we're going to write code in Excel VBA that uses the advanced filter when you have a date range criteria. So what you see here is what we're actually going to build today. To the left in columns A through C, I have a data set of orders and the second column contains the order date. In the top middle here, I have criteria for my advanced filter. I have a begin date and an end date. In the middle here, I have the output of that filter. So if I were to change the date, the end date to April 10th, and press this button, the information here in the output area will update automatically. And there it is. So the first thing we want to do is set up the criteria range for our advanced filter. Now our criteria is anything in column B that is greater than or equal to our begin date and less than or equal to our end date. Now I want to keep this separate from my criteria range. I want it to actually feed into my criteria range because I just want to enter a date value and not have to worry about the greater than or less than signs. So what I'm going to do is create a criteria range over here and the criteria range needs to have the same header as your criteria column in the advanced filter. And since we have an and condition here we just need to have that same header two times. So, I'm going to begin with our begin date criteria and I need to precede it by a greater than or equal to sign. So I'm going to have that and then I'm going to use the and symbol to join it to our begin date. I am going to copy that over because it's a relative cell reference and it will pull the next cell for our end date and I'm just going to change the sign to less than or equal to. So now we're ready to begin writing our code. We have our criteria range here. So I'm going to hit Alt F11 to go into the VBA editor window. Anywhere in this project window I'm going to right click, go to insert and then module. We'll call this subroutine my filter and begin by declaring some variables. First one is going to be WB for workbook, which is the data type workbook. It's going to represent the workbook we're in now. Next one is going to be WS for worksheet. That is going to represent the sheet we're on now. We're going to have a few range references. So the first one I'm just going to call range and that's going to represent our data range of orders in columns A through C. So that's the data type range. I'm going to copy this two more times. Next we have our criteria range which is going to be our date criteria range. And then finally we have our destination range which is the area we want our filter output to end up in. So we have several object variables here, actually all of them are, so they need to begin with the keyword set. So we'll set our workbook equal to this workbook. We'll set our worksheet equal to our workbook we just created and then worksheets and the name of our sheet we're on now is called orders. We'll set our range variable equal to our worksheet variable and then range and all we really need to do here is reference cell A1 and then get the current region because that will select all the adjacent cells with values 
to cell A1, right? we'll get our entire data set in columns A through C. We're going to set our criteria range equal to our worksheet and then range. And that is L1. And then we're just going to get the current region again because that will get everything that is selected here. Finally, we have our destination range, which this is going to be our destination range for our advanced filter. Once we have our filter based on our criteria where we want it to end up on our spreadsheet. And really, you just need to reference a single cell. And I think H5 would be a good spot. So that's what we'll use. So one thing we want to do each time we run our filter is that we, if we have a previous filter results beginning in H5, we want to clear it out so that we can drop in the new filtered data set. So we're going to reference our destination range variable and then current region and clear. That will clear everything out. So now we're ready to begin our advanced filter. So that is going to begin with our data range variable which is our data in columns A through C and then we want to select the advanced filter and in our first argument, the action, we just want to get XL filter copy. Our criteria range is going to be our criteria range variable that we created earlier. And then the range we want to copy it to is our destination range variable. So I'll save this. Currently, I have our data range, or our, I should say criteria range for our filter from April 1st to April 10th. So we'll click Run, and there that is. So now what we want to do is add a button to run this from the sheet rather than our VBA editor. So I'm going to go up to Developer. I'm going to go to insert and then a button. I'm going to draw it on here. We'll link it to the My Filter subroutine we just created. And I'm going to right click Edit Text. We'll just call this Date Range Query. And now I'll change this maybe to April 5th. Click Run, and you can see it updates automatically. So that is using the advanced filter when you have date range criteria. That is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.